That little girl wasn't restrained in any way, according to police. And here's where investigators say it happened. It was overnight, so it was dark here. When investigators say the driver headed north here on 279 near the Perrysville exit, stopped, then began driving in reverse and into another driver headed in the right direction. It is clear by the damage left behind that the impact here was violent. Police say when the driver of the Toyota Camry stopped in the fast lane just before 1 a.m., then reversed into another car, two-year-old Soraya Jefferson was in the back seat and unprotected. She was in the second row rear seat, no seat belt, no safety seat. According to the state police, Soraya was in the back seat with Tyreek Jefferson, who was also unrestrained. Custody papers show Tyreek is Soraya's father. The driver of the car they were riding in, investigators say, is Taylor Jefferson. According to court papers, he has an active criminal case involving drugs. Police say it's unclear at this point if drugs played a role and why he reversed on the highway, but they say that is part of their investigation. It is routine whenever you have a fatality um, that operant number one blood is taken. Trooper Melinda Bondarenko believes Taylor Jefferson may have wanted to exit 279 at Perrysville, then slammed on his brakes and put the car in reverse when he realized he missed his exit. Police say if two-year-old Soraya had been in a safety seat, she would likely have survived when they collided with another car headed in the right direction. We're thinking that, yes, she probably would still be here today. The two men in the car with little Soraya, as well as that other driver, were taken to Allegheny General Hospital. Soraya was taken there as well, and that's where she died. Police say both men in the car with the toddler could face charges because she wasn't restrained. I'm Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.